Hey guys, what's going on? It's uh, your favorite Jealous Hater Apoc. <laughs> <laughs> and I got a, uh, what's your name? Perch. Perch. Yeah. Queen. Alright, so this is probably not the video you were looking for. I know a lot of you are looking forward to me breaking down Karen's uh, new little stunt. Mm -hmm. But, and I do have a lot of stuff coming. I have two videos coming. It will be part one and part two. So the videos, I, I will announce the videos. I mean, I guess you, I already teased it on my community tab, but the videos will be called KK and Baby J, Signs of a Liar, Money Loving and Clout Chasing. Yeah. So that's the premise of that one. So basically it will be broken down about how KK and Baby J do care about the numbers how they do care about the money, even though they claim otherwise. And I kind of mentioned some things that I have never mentioned before. You'll hear some things I've talked about before, but maybe in a different light uh, about how Karen doesn't act uh, like somebody who's going through a struggle or somebody who's experienced child loss and what better way to break that down from two people who have lost a child through still to, through stillbirth and it's not even just you know a two-week chemical pregnancy which i know is still a baby but there are different levels when your baby is uh two weeks to six weeks to eight weeks to 12 weeks to 22 weeks to being 30 weeks and getting ready for an ultrasound i've seen somebody at yeah. 40 weeks yeah, yeah. you know like, there's all kinds horrible. of stuff and it's different levels and there are different things but no matter what there's still certain things you do that just don't add up but before we get into that mm -hmm. uh the the part one video will be like i said will be about being nothing but money hungry people and you know honestly i don't care that they are get yours, make money, but there is yeah, just things that. you don't do. The things, you know, there are lines you just don't cross and they're crossing over into some really fucked up lines. Yeah. They're crossing some really shallow waters here and it's, it's getting pretty bad. Although it, from what it looks like, it seems that it's having a negative effect on their channel. Make sure he's breathing. What? Make sure he's breathing. Yeah, he's breathing. You don't see it? Go over there and look if you need to look. Okay. I like to make sure. I do it all the time. I can clearly see it. I think we can see. Maybe twitch. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking freak, see? This this is what child loss looks like. Making sure your kids are still your your one child or your kids are still alive. I think even, moms who don't even haven't even lost a child do that too. Yeah, but, but even more so people who have lost, you know, we you know, even I do it here and there. Check it out, like, this suit's still alive? I mean, honestly, like, when my son came out, I thought he was dead, but he wasn't. You know, it's just, yeah. I don't know. These two parts are taking a long time to bring out because I really want to show this time about how much that they just lie. Yeah. So that's the first you part. You don't even get to all of it. No, and I don't even get yeah. to all of it. I just mentioned, like, again. I, a rough breakdown. I, I've done a lot of rough breakdowns. I haven't really, I'm, yeah. there's, I've been getting more and more into, like, breaking certain mm. things down. My last video on them was talking about how, they, you know, they clickbaited a car crashing into their backyard, but it was really their neighbor's yard, which the premise of that is that they just made money out of someone tolling their car. Mm -hmm. You know, like, that's, that's the reality of the video. They're making making money off of someone else's misfortune they click baited that that particular thing to say oh guys something bad happened to us they make money they make money off of it and it's not it, nothing even happened to them and you know in the video karen's like oh that one of my worst fears is the car crashing through it's like well that's what you told your fan base by this thumbnail yeah, you made and by think this that your children by, were almost yeah terrified yeah exactly and that was that, the, that, that was it scary, they made people but... click on the video thinking that possibly one of their kids could have gotten hurt you know that's literally what that entails mm -hmm. really breaking down a couple of things show just showing how money hungry they are and that they do not care about their fan base then you go, oh, oh, uh, we care about you guys. Uh, that thanks for everything. Without you, we wouldn't have all this stuff. They love how they, easily manipulated. They say families. that because that manipulates, emotionally manipulates their audience because their audience is very young. Mm -hmm. And young girls. Young girls yeah. are very easily emotionally manipulated. Mm -hmm. That's just how it is. And, they, and, and, and you got to remember, Qua, a grown man, a grown adult, is doing this to little girls. Mm -hmm. Qua is a wolf in sheep's clothing. Anyways, so that's the premise of the first part of the video. I'm working really hard on it to make it really top-notch. These two parts will be my masterpiece. 
and the second part of the video will be based around Karen's uh, little like oh scar tissue bullshit that she spewed out. Uh, the title's pending, but it's also KK Mayo J Signs of Liar. I'm bringing something new to the video. You guys need to be excited about this because I'm bringing something new to the video that I've never done in any of my videos ever. Yeah, I'm excited. And it literally that. proves that Karen is a pathological liar. And, uh, and this is beyond just bringing clips from their podcast or bringing clips from their vlogs that mm. contradict everything that they say. This is literally stuff that proves that she lied about this whole situation. So just wait on that and it will be really good. So anyways, today's video though will be about Karen's child loss grief, I guess we want to say. Yeah. Because... She's somebody that just does not act like somebody who's lost a child. And regardless of what multiple people, children, multiple children, sorry, it's multiple children, uh, as she still claims. It's beyond the whole thing about, oh, well, uh, people just don't react the same. They don't act the same with, with Which, stuff. You it's, know it's what's not funny even about that. that is like when I'm, when I'm listening to podcasts, like morbid podcasts or something like that, the crime podcasts. A lot of them say when, you know, when there's questionable people, they're like, well, you know, everybody reacts differently to death. And they do, but there are some cases where they don't. And if they do act differently to death, they're kind of off regardless of if they have anything to do with the death or not. It's kind of weird. Well, we can, we can use people this. React we can use this. Yeah, right, right. But we can use this as an example. When our son died, both of us acted completely different. Mm -hmm. She was in a different state of mind than I was. She, I wouldn't say she was depressed, but she was in a very saddened state. Me, I was angry as fuck. Mm -hmm. We were, it was complete, it was, sh the, the pain was shared the same, like it was equally shared, but our emotions were different. Mm -hmm. But no matter what, there still were days where I was more saddened than angry, and she was more angry mm -hmm. than saddened. No matter what, you still feel certain things. So when it comes to, by the way, I know Karen watches my, all my videos because she's my biggest fan. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so when she hears all this, she can't if you, help it. yeah, she can't, she can't no, help she it. Can't help that it. one day, <laughs> that one day where uh, when she came out with that finally opening up video, she was more sad mm -hmm. about what people were saying about her yeah. than losing all of her children. Because she, you have yet to see her cry. Go look at the videos of her crying when she has her miscarriages. She doesn't shed not one fucking tear. Not one. Yet she sheds tears for when people are saying mean things about her, bad, bad things. Or when Bianca's not there. Yeah, or when Bianca yeah. or when Bianca leaves or when, when she's Sutton not there. Doesn't get a it, it's always party. it's always stupid. She, I mean, I understand the birthday party thing. She didn't cry when Landon couldn't have a birthday party. Yeah, I think that's the the thing. It's like I I probably would cry if my if my son couldn't have. Yeah, and party. that's fine. That's fine, but because I'm emotional like Karen. Right. That's the thing. Yeah, Karen. I'm the, a lot like Karen when it comes to her emotional thing. stuff, but I actually am crying. Karen, when I watched Karen for a while, I've watched Karen for probably three years or something like that. I'm definitely a lot like Karen, where certain things make me more emotional. Like it's just it's stupid things. There's well, a lot of stupid she's, things. She's you know me cry. she Karen is very overly emotional, and there's no there's mm -hmm. honestly there's no problem with that. I don't care. I know some girls are like that. You know, like again, Paige gets I am, my mom Paige is, can Paige yeah. can be, but the, so that's my point is that Karen's really overly emotional yet she can't muster up a tear mm -hmm. for child loss or mm -hmm. for her struggle. And like I said, I know she's watching this. Just remember, Karen, from this point on, repeat anything that I say here. Like as in, if I say, Karen doesn't use the word struggle when she talks about her mm -hmm. stuff. She says they're trying. Yet, isn't it supposed to be a struggle? It's all about the context. It's all. It's like when Chris wording Watts. Wording matters. Wording yeah. matters. It's like when Chris Watts. Yes, the guy who killed his entire family. When Definitely Chris not Watts. Him to him. No, and I'm, I'm not yeah. comparing like <laughs> killing. One thing I can think about. It's like a past tense thing. Before Chris Watts was arrested for killing his entire family, he, you know, the people were questioning him, and he would say things like, "Well, Bella was supposed to go to school." As in, nobody knew what happened to them. Nobody knew if they were still alive yet. Yet he was saying Bella you was. Never so so he was saying say that past tense saying was, right? Saying was means that he knows that she's dead. Well, and, and like our, we literally have a personal case. A family member was murdered and this was two years ago, right? Two years ago, almost two years ago. Yeah. And literally the murderer 
he he would talk about her in the past tense and to my family and it was just it was it that was a telltale for them obviously that was a telltale for them and the cops yeah and just certain things certain things that narcissists say to tell on themselves without actually having to tell on themselves and that's what he did and that's what Karen does all the time like and that's what Chris Watts did that's what a lot of people do when they're caught in a lie or where they're, they're lying they tell on themselves without actually telling on themselves right so when Karen says she was tr they've been trying it, it's not even true because honestly like I've said before we have proof that from her own words that she's only been trying let's just give it June till now mm -hmm. literally just like a three month period she hasn't been trying for the eight nine months or whatever yeah, she's been even saying in April she said like yeah. We're, we've been trying I think she's yeah. I Mul think in April she said yeah multiple we've been times. trying but not trying yeah you're saying saying you've been trying but not trying isn't mean you're struggling it means that you're just seeing what will happen but that doesn't mean you're actually trying yeah but she's claiming that she's tried throughout the whole time trying trying is like what she's claimed to do by tracking her ovulation tracking her period doing all that stuff that's trying. I mean, when we got pregnant with ours, we were trying, but not trying. Yeah. You know? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Uh, I didn't want to stress about it because yeah. that, because I do believe that stressing about it does not help your situation and it makes no. it worse. So yeah. that's what people say, because people get mad there, when people say in the comments like, oh, Karen, just don't stress about it and that's when it'll happen. And then there's people in the comments who get mad at them for that. You know, that's a real thing. If that stress could be causing, even though I don't believe Karen's shit, that stress could be causing a lot of shit on that person who's actually struggling's body and that can affect their ability to conceive. That yeah. can affect that. Yeah, and so her, her saying trying, or is a red flag saying that they're not really struggling. Mm -hmm. Words and context truly matter in these things. And like I said, talking about like in past tense, when she's saying trying, She's not saying struggling yet. She's been, apparently been struggling this for so long. Women with this, they struggle. They don't try, they struggle. If she was like, me and Qua are trying really hard to have a kid, that's okay. But she is not once, as far as I can remember, yeah. has said that she is struggling. Not to mention, she does not act like someone who struggled. And again, this has come mm -hmm. from two people who have literally felt this like i said it's not a thing where oh we, you know yeah, people react differently no you can feel things differently but when it comes to losing a child you don't really do things differently yeah. not once i'm gonna say this right now not one single time not one single time ever had karen's apparently lost three children mind you apparently and has there's all this struggle and whatever mm -hmm. what's so funny is she always talks about how she's mentally drained and blah 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 blah. not once has she ever been like guys i just cannot vlog today my mental safe whack right now mm -hmm. i just need a day with me and my family she has not done that once well don't forget like she's also never milked her other two miscarriages the one before jackson and the one before yeah. landon as much as she's milked these ones and i yeah. guess she's had a baby after each one of those but still she has never milked them like she has now literally there's a video where she took a pregnancy test found out she was pregnant after jackson and in the comments or in the description she said i um this was I ended up losing this baby. Something around the I or the context of I ended up losing this baby. I really just want to move on. That was like that was it. Like there was it was really simple and to the point. I really just want to move on. Yeah. This was years ago. Yeah. And she's still like she's I didn't even know she had one before Jackson. Well, in the future, I will, I'm not going to try to disprove her miscarriages before Landon and Jackson no. because who knows? They're probably real. Maybe they're not. Maybe they're just trying to get YouTube clout like they are now. But honestly, I'm not looking that that deep. I'm looking at these ones this year because these are the telltale mm -hmm. signs that she is lying. Mm -hmm. And like I said, she has not once appeared that she was struggling. That she had. Then you, and this is what I'm telling you. There's times where you just you don't have it in you to to pretend and she wants to go oh i want to be positive for my kids i'm you yeah. know i'm sorry that's bullshit you can do that on some days but there will be days where you just go i can't yeah yeah it's so funny though like i said she hasn't done that once but she did that when people were saying mean things about her mm -hmm. 
Well, okay, so we've never, like, we've experienced child loss. We've never experienced infertility issues. We've been fortunate enough not to have to, and I hope that we don't ever have to. Yeah, but it's one and the same, to be honest. I mean, like, uh, I know there are two different things, but, the, you know. The, well, it, I can't imagine, like, the, for me, I can't imagine having to take a pregnancy test and have it be negative after trying for so long. But that's the thing, like, Karen only tried for not even eight months. It wasn't even eight months. Karen didn't try for eight months. After so long, like after years, once those people, those people, eventually they come to terms with it, but for a while, it, it's really hard for them. Like, there's that one YouTube, uh, beauty YouTuber who got, pre who's pregnant this year, who's pregnant right now, who went through 15 years of infertility. Like, she couldn't get pregnant for 15 years. Yeah, and Karen, mind you, Karen is acting like somebody who has been going through mm -hmm. infertility for a decade. Mind yeah. you, you can't even get diagnosed with infertility unless you've been trying for a full year. Yeah, and, like, I, can, I also can't even imagine having to experience miscarriage after miscarriage after miscarriage. Like, but those people, those people that have actually experienced miscarriages, multiple miscarriages, know exactly how many miscarriages they've had. Karen can't help but say multiple miscarriages. Yeah, that's the thing is, Multiple is, that... is not saying the number. Yeah, and if the you go... The number matters. Yeah, and if you go back, like, if you go back to the May miscarriage, the, the doctor asked her how many miscarriages she's had. She says she's had three. But apparently, there's one before Jackson, one before Landon. That's two. There's, mm -hmm. there's the one in December that... She's kind of basically said that wasn't miscarriage, but she hasn't actually came yeah. out. But she's kind she's of seems like using it she's now. still using it. So yeah. I, 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 we're gonna count that. So that's three. Mm -hmm. There's May four, and then there's June five. So she apparently had five miscarriages, but she's only claiming three, and then she's claiming claiming multiple. Mm -hmm. Mind you, like when she says that she has multiple miscarriage recently, she said that when she says that she's not counting the ones before Landon mm -hmm. and Jackson because that is irrelevant to the situation because apparently she's had the scar tissue that doesn't count for the two miscarriages before because mm -hmm. those don't apply it's the ones yeah. that are recently now that will only apply to the situation so she's talking about yeah. multi multiple is more than two but it's also multiple isn't saying the exact number if right. you've if you've been traumatized by infertility and stuff like that no matter how many kids you have already it doesn't matter you know that exact number of babies that you've lost oh mind you in may in that vlog in may where she goes to a doctor t again to decline a blood test for what she wants to figure yeah. out apparently um when the doctor asked her about the how many miscarriages she's had she says probably three you wouldn't say probably i i wish i used to work at a daycare and there was a woman who had struggled with getting pregnant with her oh, first that she had five miscarriages before him and she, that's the thing like you don't forget that my mom i mean my mom's had one miscarriage my aunt's had a couple yeah i don't i don't know exactly how many I, I think she maybe she's had two but she knows exactly how many my grandma obviously knows exactly how many because she had a stillborn like me yeah I, I've met multiple people who would never forget how many babies they've lost. Okay, baby, probably, I mean, even if it's just one, I know that's not easy to forget, but you never forget because if you truly want babies, you never forget how many babies you've lost because you don't ever want to forget about those babies. Yeah, like, like we've said before, our son Cassius will know about our son mm -hmm. Sam because he we want him to know about his big brother yeah because his big brother was alive at one point moving in a belly mm -hmm. eating doing baby shit you know mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> and now he sits on our dresser in ashes in an urn but he part will of him know. is in our, on our dresser part yeah. of him is in yeah. the safe and we and we have and we also have yet. necklaces of them that's what i'm saying yeah. is that you remember your your lost children well, and hold on and karen she doesn't really even have any dates for her miscarriages, like any of them. Yeah, and that matters too. When she says for the one in June, July, whatever the fuck it was, she says it's in June. I thought it was in July. Well, she says she posted a picture on Instagram saying, and it yeah. was it was uh, uh, it was based this in picture June. Was taken June 18th. Yeah, and two weeks later she had a miscarriage, which actually goes trickles into to, yeah. to being into July, July second. But then she claims that she had a miscarriage in June. And then on top of that, if you go back to her miscarriage in May, 
she like around when she had a miscarriage in May. The math doesn't add up to being six weeks to when she had she a miscarriage. Have to have lost a baby while she was. She literally had, would be I like. Mean, she, that can happen. I'm not saying no. that. The Here's the thing: is that when a but. woman has a miscarriage, her body cannot have a baby right away because it has to flush everything out. Mm -hmm. For someone like Karen, who has a journal full of all these notes, taped pregnancy tests, little sticky notes, all this, tests. all the ovulation tests, all this crap, who's apparently crazy, who says she doesn't really want to be obsessive, but apparently she's being obsessive about it. It's she all said fake. She multiple it, times it's after, it's a, like, yeah, but it's right a, it's a, she's it's a, it, it, and for people who think that she's crazy for that, she's crazy for doing all this fake bullshit. She's not really crazy for doing but that But she's stuff. not, like, she's normal. pretending to be obsessive and crazy about it because she wants to convince you of the lie. But for somebody, let's just put this in perspective. For somebody who is so crazy and uh, crazy obsessive about getting pregnant and all this stuff, she can't even say the date of her miscarriages. She can't even get the right date of her pregnancy. Does that matter? She can't, the date of her miscarriage right. would matter because if she said that that was really, really hard for her, she says it in the video that she talks about it. If that was really, really hard for her, she'd know the exact date that that baby left her body. Exactly. Like, there's no yeah. way. For she somebody wouldn't. so obsessed with all this and has all this journal crap and blah, 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 she doesn't even, she can't even give you a date of her miscarriage, mm -hmm. which someone like Karen would do. By yeah. the way, you got to remember. I she, would do it. I would remember that. Yeah, well, yeah we, we remember the day our son was born dead. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. We literally remember that day. But with Karen's uh, six-week pregnancy, quote unquote, and then having a miscarriage, mind you, uh, she just randomly kind of popped it up, and I'm surprised they didn't mm -hmm. clickbait it. Which you know, for a while there, we're like, wow, maybe it's real because they didn't they didn't clickbait it, and maybe that was the point to trick you. Yeah. So like I said, she just doesn't act like somebody who's experienced this stuff. You can go on from the end of June to the beginning of July where she's wearing bikinis, she's out partying with Taylor, and there's all this stuff going on around the time where she's had a miscarriage apparently, mm -hmm. but she doesn't take a day off from vlogging. She, do she doesn't do this, she doesn't do that. There's well. all this stuff that proves that she really didn't have a miscarriage. She literally like doesn't show any signs of having a miscarriage. What's funny is, is that she complains about cramping and spotting at this <laughs> point in time, like present day with that one video, but yet she has never, I mean, she had the one vlog like i think a couple weeks prior says i'm spotting two days before oh wow okay never mind like but anytime before. before anytime beforehand she didn't complain <laughs> at all she didn't complain about cramping by the way when you have miscarriages you have cramping yeah you have spotting like you have all these things and you have things physically and mentally wrong with you that you can't like oh people act different not when it comes to this you literally will experience all of this yeah and if it wasn't with the december you... one if it wasn't with the may one it would have been with this june one yet she doesn't Six complain about one. anything and let me tell you right now they would have clickbaited if that was the case mm -hmm. because they clickbait everything every little mm -hmm. fart and oh <laughs> this is what i was going to talk about earlier was that when they released the video of the live pregnancy test and mind you let's let's stop this for a second and talk about this about the live pregnancy test thing if you go back in april there's a video where karen states that if they get pregnant they're not going to announce it right away because they want to make sure it's fine okay. until the second day and trimester which is normal we didn't announce uh we only told us a very very selective few we only told my mom yeah i think we only told and your mom we only told my mom and her mom about the pregnancy and because we um, just couldn't keep it from them yeah because we couldn't keep it from because it was kind of hard but aside from that we didn't tell anybody until Paige was 16 weeks pregnant yeah which is normal for women who are pregnant because they need to get out of that danger zone you know mm -hmm. So Karen says this and it's, hey, whatever, perfect. But then later on, Karen's doing live pregnancy tests. You, need, you guys need to keep in mind that she knew that these pregnancy tests were going to be fake. Now she does the whole, well, it's positive. Well, it's negative. What's going on? Well, mind you, she's taking the most cheapest pregnancy tests ever that are all non-digital, by the way, that you, that <laughs> she literally leaves them in a cup full of piss, which just ends up being an evap line. And mind well, you- Well, no, she, with that one, she had taken the test, put it on her little notebook thing, glued it on there, and then looked at it the morning after. You don't do that. Yeah. So, and, and that's the thing is, it's not like Karen's dumb or anything. This is actually what she planned to do. 
because she wants to seem she like what's going on. You video. gotta remember, it could be an evap. Right, it these little an these an little girls are twelve years old and know nothing about pregnancy tests and getting pregnant and none of that. Not Karen <laughs> does. Grown women do. Karen's had three kids. You don't think she knows when her period's coming? She didn't, you know, when her period's oh, here. Exactly. You don't think she knows about miscarriages and and all this information? Women know that they can miscarry in their first trimester without ever miscarrying. They just mm. know these things because you're told this information by doctors. Mm or by own research. They know that their little fan base don't know anything about periods, barely know anything about periods, just getting into it, to be honest. Mm -hmm. Know nothing about getting pregnant, know nothing about miscarriage, don't know anything about anything. And they know this and they're taking advantage of that because the little fans aren't going to see any they're of the crap. Question it. They're not gonna question it. And the thing, like, she literally oh, says she's probably had three. What do you mean probably? You know, she <laughs> turns down a blood test. Why would you do that? Sometimes people question things, but they need somebody else to come in and connect the dots. And that's, that's my job, you know, but you have to, you have a new scar tissue video where she needs proof of miscarriages for insurance so she can see her OBGYN. But then you have her and she said that's why she was going to the ER, which means in May, that's why she went to the ER in May was to get proof of her miscarriage for her insurance. But then she denies or refuses the very test that would give her the proof for her insurance and says that it's not necessary be at this point. It's like, I just think it's funny what? that she needed it for her miscarriages. This bitch goes and buys the fucking $400 hat. And yeah, exa like yeah exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. You know, you need the fucking proof for your, for your insurance. Um, if you're really, really um, uh, having issues with your body. You're going to go fucking do that shit immediately, even if you have to pay for it. Uh, your insurance will eventually cover it. Yeah. Okay. So I kind of trickled out here into like a little ramp. So a woman who's experienced miscarriages, three miscarriages, mind you, at this point, would months. never, <laughs> and I mean never fucking ever, would never take a life pregnancy test ever because a woman would be too scared to jinx herself or to, to jump the gun and be like, oh, guys, I'm pregnant. So those said, oh, there's a line. She knows that's bullshit. That's why she's doing it. And let me tell you this right now. A woman would never take a life pregnancy test after experience a struggle like this mm -hmm. ever, ever. I mean, I think she would she would film it, but also she posted it knowing that she wasn't pregnant. You know, I think that well, was- Well, that's pregnant. the thing. She literally says in her in her live pregnancy test videos that she goes, I don't feel pregnant, but I'm gonna take a test anyways. Yeah. Like she literally says that. Or she shows like, there's the one one video where she's taking tests, but she's not actually taking the test that she's showing in the thumbnail, which bothered me. And she's like, you're clickbaiting these pregnancy tests. These, one of the best pregnancy tests you can take. You're clickbaiting them in the picture, but yeah. you're not actually taking those ones. Yeah. That means you know you're not pregnant. Well, she literally says she knows she's not pregnant. She doesn't feel she pregnant. Won't take and the, she takes tests. She won't take the the important tests until she thinks she's pregnant. Yeah, here's the thing. Like I said, she takes or all she, those she, she takes all those non digital cheapo tests, but she won't take the which is funny because in the thumbnail she has the test you're supposed to take, and then she takes and then remember she had and it was a thumbnail where she had a, a pregnancy that wasn't even a digital one that was the one with the lines yeah yeah but that was that was, at least that, that was, was the brand the you're supposed ones. to take but then yeah. she takes these cheapy ones you know yeah. and uh she never takes a digital because a digital is concrete she takes the ones with the lines because you can manipulate yeah, those, those there's ones. nothing like the clear blue yeah nothing. but you can take the lines can be manipulated mm -hmm. you can get evap lines there's literally a thing that's like this compound called pregno go look it up on amazon type it in pregno it's literally a liquid test that you put on your test you're supposed to put guess what you're supposed to put it in you're supposed to put it in a cup full of piss mm -hmm. what does karen do mm -hmm. she fucking stirs that shit up like it's tea yeah i mean some people do the pee in the cup thing when they're taking a pregnancy test i literally don't do that i just be honest yeah yeah, okay, so, but you can literally buy this thing called Pregno, put it in a cup, and it will yeah. fake the test to be positive yeah. and not be real. But I don't think Karen got that, though, because I think she has the kidney stones and knows full well that... Well, that's... Okay, so it can morning. be a certain situation where she can be doing that, although I haven't put it out yet, and I'll just say this right now. I do have a clip of Karen claiming, not claiming, stating that the pregnancy tests she has are fake. And it's not based around being like, oh, the pregnancy positives are fake, they're false. No, she says, 
the pregnancy tests are fake. Oh, she, and she goes, she oh, no, I mean the, the cheaper the, ones. The fake, the She's like, the cheap. fake, I mean, the cheaper ones. Yeah. How does that correlate oh, with being fake? fake? Yeah. I literally have this clip. You know what? I'll play it right here. So weird because the fake, the like, cheapy ones, the fake, the like, cheapy ones, the fake, the like, cheapy ones. The fake, the cheapy ones. Yeah, so right there, I literally had Karen saying that her pregnancy test was fake. So regardless if it's pregno, regardless if she's manipulating the EVAP line, I mean, there's times she's like, you see the line? And it's like, no, there's not no really. Line. There's no line at all. And then she, then she like takes a pregnancy test. Or she springs well, squawk. Do you see the line? Well, it's funny is I've seen somebody comment. I don't know if it was a comment or if it was on yours, your, your comment section. Mm -hmm. I'll comment on theirs or in your comment section. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> Oh. It was a person, excuse me, it was a person that said, because when you look at these tests initially, like, it, before you even take the test, these, these, um, the first response, and even probably the little strippy ones, you can see the little bit of that line there. And it's not because you peed on it, it's just because that line shows up for your pee. But there's going, in that very, very background of the thing, you can see the line on the test. Like, it's not, I'm not saying that you can see the line clearly. I'm saying if you look hard enough, you can see a, a second line there because those lines obviously are there. They pop out when they, obviously when they detect the HCG in your system. Yeah. But they're there. Like if I bought a test right now, like even the, the clear blue ones that we get, the ones with the the plus sign, you can see the like the smallest glimmer of this line uh, going up, like down. It's just because that's just it's it come it pops out when you when it detects the HCD. Not it's not because there's actually a line there because you're pregnant. It's just because there's a line there. She has no proof, by the way. You know when you have miscarriages, you're supposed to go back to the doctor to check your levels to make sure that you're being safe and getting everything because out that because can it's leave, toxic. Um, like yeah, toxic chemicals or bacteria or something like that in your body because obviously it's a dead fetus well mind you that we have a friend who had a baby recently but before she had that baby she actually had a uh, two-week chemical pregnancy mm -hmm. and she had to go back to the doctors a couple times to make sure that her levels were right yeah. and everything was good Well, because she went there initially to see if her if she like if she had because she had seen the lines fading on the pregnancy test she went there initially to see if there was hcg in her system they there was but it wasn't high and then she went in again and you know to make sure i think i'm pretty sure and but i mean i know a lot of people who have to go in a couple times who have had to go in a couple times who because it's dangerous yeah so because uh, obviously if there if your hcg isn't lowering and you're like in your body that means that there is something going on there you could be you could be still pregnant and there's something seriously wrong or something like that. It, there's a lot of factors to it. You know, out of everything, Karen doesn't act like somebody who lost a child. There's the physical aspect and there's the mental aspect. And you can't hide those. Even if you can push off the, men the mental stuff, it does catch up to you. And she has shown no signs of being sad at all. Aside from a monetized video, of course. Oh, you know, she, or stabbing her or, eye. Or, you know, or stabbing, stabbing her eye to make her. herself cry. But oh, that's a monetized video as well. <laughs> she's only sad when she gets paid. But she's never sad. Like, guys, I need, I need a day off. She's still not sad enough to actually cry tears. So. Yeah, and then, you know, there's the physical aspect where she doesn't have any sort of symptoms from having a miscarriage. Any. She just mentioned it. But she's never talked about it before. Yeah, which like, is really, like which is said, re really a red flag. This is coming from somebody. Oh, sorry. This is coming from somebody who says that uh, miscarriages should be talked about more. Yeah, yeah. She doesn't talk about the about details this. exactly, right? She there's a reason why she doesn't talk about it. It's because she doesn't know anything about it. In her new video, she talked about how, or she's had this pain like her abdomen or whatever, mm -hmm. like near her scar, near her scar and stuff like that. She has never talked about that ever. That or the spotting. She literally yeah. says spotting in her cycle. Yeah, but she During she doesn't talk that about that pain ever. Pain. She's had this pain, she said. She's had this pain, but never talked about it. And think about this too. Put this into perspective. For somebody who, ha who has had this pain in their abdomen, why are you trying to have children when you have this pain? Mm -hmm. Or at least maybe if you have one miscarriage and you still have this pain, why would you push to have children 
when you have this pain? Why wouldn't you go get checked out? Why is she just doing all this stuff now? It's because she's prolonging it because she wants to push it as far as possible because she doesn't want to get pregnant yet because they just want to milk this for as long as they can. The truth is, is Karen doesn't want to be pregnant. Oh Would she do it for money? Yeah. Oh. Choking on that milk. You right? Yeah, he's good. <laughs> yeah, but... We'll, we'll we'll finish up with this bassinet story. So, you know, there's some um, there's some crazy people online who catch the, the crazy shit. I know, shit. they're crazy. And I go on YouTube Mama Drama. I don't write anything on there, but I find some of the shit so fucking funny. I enjoy it so much. Some of them is ridiculous. Some of them, some of the comments are ridiculous, you know, because I think some people are nitpicky and kind of really, really mean. Um, but there are people who pointed out uh, in, in the vlog from my today in the vlog from today you can see in their bedroom that their bassinet that karen said she cries when she thinks about or looks at or whatever it is mind you uh the video we're talking about is where karen's sick i don't know if i will be posting this exactly on like it's not going to be today because I, if i don't post it if i post their this vlog tomorrow is we're all sick or something. yeah we're all sick so mind you good. that's that's the vlog she's talking about go ahead yeah so this is coming from like, you know, this is Karen who says that this bassinet, she ordered this bassinet while she was very early in her pregnancy with the one in June, which is so fucking weird because she's like, oh, I ordered it because it, it's basically it's on back work and it takes a while to ship or yeah. whatever. So the, but well, it's like, dude, you're only like three weeks yeah, pregnant. Yeah, she was like, yeah, that. she's, that, that's another you're sign. You're a few weeks pregnant. That's Why another sign too. Now? Yeah, exactly. Why would you order that now? This is, that's exactly what I'm talking about is the fact that. She's had apparently had a miscarriage in December. She's having all these weird problems with pregnancy tests. She had just had she literally just had a miscarriage in May, and all of a sudden she's pregnant. And three weeks into a pregnancy, she orders a bassinet because it's on back order. Yeah. That is bullshit. Because why would you buy something to basically force yourself to get excited about a pregnancy that you have no fucking idea would even happen? Yeah. And that obviously doesn't make you're any not going to tell anybody about that pregnancy until later on. So why would you order a bassinet? You don't even set up for your baby until they're a certain, till you're a certain point in your pregnancy. And we didn't, we didn't really buy our son any clothes until we found out what his gender was. Mm -hmm. And of course, that's smarter to do. We didn't do and we, we but we didn't really buy him shit until we knew what his gender was, mm -hmm. and until we knew they. He was going to, he was out of the danger zone. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it's just funny because she says, you know, this, it makes me sad. I, I cried. She says something like, oh, I cried when I, when it came or something. It's like so that. funny because, and because what's, what's she's so. She's looking at me. Yeah. Well, what, what, what she said exactly. well, what's so funny about it is every time you hear Karen say, oh, I cried when I saw this. Or Carl says, yeah, she cries her eyes out. Yeah. She bawls her eyes out. Blah, blah, blah. I think that's weird. It's so funny that, well, it's, it's like, remember I felt like that? It's, it's, oh God. they do that stuff too. Remember when I cried? Yeah. It, they do stuff like that, but you never see it. You'll see Karen cry over her friend leaving, but you won't see her cry over a miscarriage. You know, like I said, they say, oh, Karen cried over this, Karen cried over that about a miscarriage and blah, blah, blah. But you never actually get to see it. You know, for somebody, yeah. that's the thing is, yeah, when you do lose a child, you do ball your eyes out. You do have those yeah. issues. Well, why would you want to keep the bassinet? Yeah, if you want to you put it up, if you put it in another room that you can't see on the daily basis, that's different. But she literally has it at the end of her bed. We're, this has gone way too long. We're going to end it right here. But uh, just to end it on the good, uh, on a, a good funny, boat. Uh, just to end it on a good boat. If anyone wants Trailer Park Boys out there, you'll get that. But oh, Was that from Trailer Park Boys? I just thought that was something you said. No, I say it because Ricky says it. <laughs> On a good boat, because he's a fucking moron. Oh. <laughs> yeah. He says, good things come to those at the gate. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I gotta rewatch that show. It's so funny. It's so sad I went to a cartoon. But anyways, let's just end it right here. And let's just put this to... Let's just, let's just say this. Watch Karen be pregnant right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, bye. Bye.